to my beautiful friend Sylvia's house as she's welcomed me in to um, do a yoga video. So thank you to my beautiful friend, soul sister, good tidings, check her out. Um, let's go ahead and begin a practice, but before we do, a little bit more about me as I begin uh, sharing more authentically through yoga videos with you. Um, I have three children, beautiful children, and it's always been my passion to teach them to live a healthy lifestyle. And I have cultivated that into my now brand of Blissfully Soulful through empowering others, inspiring others, as I am in turn inspired by others. To do me, I inspire you to do you, and so we can all live authentic, our truth, and make this world a beautiful place. And the best way we can do that is by self-care, self-love, and working through our own wellness journey and having our tribe together to support us along that journey, dealing with all the stuff we have in life. We all have our story. We all have our guilt, our blame, our shame, and the hurt um, that we've been through. If it's from the littlest level to the most monstrosity of pain that we've been through, we've all had something. So none of us are um, oblivious to it. We all know it, we've all been there. So that's the beautiful thing about being human is we all have little scars within our heart that can be mended. And it takes a tribe, it takes a village to help get through life. And I am here to be a part of that with you. Um, and yoga is a journey to help you do that. So for me, it's really helped me to heal through my own personal journey on my mat. I don't have a mat right here. It can be, it's metaphorically, it can be anywhere you are. You can take yoga anywhere you are. You can do it on a mat on the earth, on a floor, anywhere. You can stop at any moment. It can be five minutes, 10 minutes, it can be an hour. Um, just getting the body moving, getting the breath in alignment with that movement. Energetically, it releases things within our chakra systems, um, within the nadis, within our mind, the body, and the spirit, and bringing us into alignment with our true essence, and that true essence is bliss. We were designed with joy in our soul. We were designed to be happy. We are designed to know that we are loved and supported and that we are truly blessed in this journey, in this life. Um, and yoga is a tool that we have to help awaken that because we, as we move energetically, um, it helps us emotionally to connect with the reasoning and processing of our daily intake of life and in turn we can find peace in that space from our practice off of our mats it is a lifestyle and as we find that peace it allows us to walk in that state of blissfulness and so i welcome you to come into a practice with me as we just stand nice and tall we'll find that bliss through our journey here today so go ahead bring hands to heart center most important things to center ourselves in the present moment so just a linking breath into the here and now. Take a big inhale through your nose and a big exhale through your mouth. And then slow the breath down, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose, finding that UIG breath. And if you're new to yoga and you're not sure what that means, it's just an audible toning that sits at the back of your throat. It's a vibration that comes out and helps us just uh, reset into the mindset setting that parasympathetic nervous system into the here and now, just releasing any anxiety and tension, letting go of worry and stress, and just trusting the process on our mat, on the floor, on the grass, wherever you are today. As we connect to our heart center, feel that sensation of thankfulness, of gratitude. Breathing in and breathing out, Feeling that air flowing through the lungs, through the cells. And with humility and respect, go ahead and lift arms all the way up. Find length in the body and exhale, fold. Flipping through the tailbone, lengthen the back of the leg, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. Step your right foot back, left leg forward, drop to your back knee. Press those hips forward. Lift in the chest, lengthen, 
as you deepen down, and then take that top leg, step it back, kneeling. And we're gonna cat and cow. So when you're a cat and cow, just round the pelvis, chin to chest. You may come back when we need. Again, round from chin to chest. Come back to neutral. And just flow. So as you breathe, warming up the spinal column. Several more. Knees and hips line up, shoulders and wrists line up. Exhale as you round, close knees, inhale as you come back. Two more. And your last one. And then take the right foot, step it forward, press that hip in. Lengthen that back leg, back knees down, chest is forward. And then step it to the top. Take a big inhale, lift. Take your left hand around your right wrist, lengthen through the side body, exhale over. Gaze up to the armpit, and then lift and release grip. Right hand to left wrist, exhale over, gaze up. And then lift it up. Take fist into the small of your back. Press in, press this is forward, shoulder blades down the back. And then lift it up, just opening up through that heart center. Find some movement, sway side to side. You go ahead and take this little wrap off, a little chilly, so I know I'm gonna warm up. So let's go ahead and heel toe those feet back together. Take a big inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway. Exhale, deepen. Take that right foot again, step it back, drop to that left, right back knee, left leg forward, press those hips in. And then step it back. And again, cat and cow, chin to chest, round it, tuck it, and release it. Chin to chest, round it, tuck it, release it. And again, round it, tuck it, release it. Take the right leg forward, press it in. Opening up that space a little bit deeper, and then step it up. Take a big inhale, lift. Hands to the right wrist, exhale over. Lift it up. Right hand, left wrist, exhale over. And release, heel toe those feet apart. Fist into your back, shoulder blades down. Bend the knees, round it back. Open up through that heart space. Release it back. Move side to side. Find some movement in the body. Just energetically moving the body, bring those feet back together, hands at heart center. Again, big inhale. We're gonna lean with the opposite foot this time as you exhale, fold. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. This time the left foot's gonna drop back. Right leg forward, press in. Deepen down. And then step it back and cat and cow. Round it under, chin to chest, tuck the pelvis, and come back neutral. And again, round, tuck. Come back neutral. And again, round it, tuck it. Come back neutral. And then take the left foot, step it forward. Right knees down, press those hips forward. Pull the chest forward and then step it up. Take a big inhale, lift. So hand around the left wrist, exhale over. Inhale, lift. Other side, lengthen. Exhale, over. Inhale, lift. Again, hips, bend in those knees. Round it, press it back, open up through the heart center. Lift it up. Move side to side, find some movement in that body to step it together. Hands to heart center, take a big inhale, lift. One more time, exhale, fold. Take the left leg back, drop to that knee. Press into those hips, open up in that space. Step that right foot back, cat and cow. Chin to chest, round it, tuck it. Come back to neutral. And again, round, tuck, chin to chest. Come back to neutral. And one more time, round it, tuck it. Left leg steps forward. Press in, deepen into it. Curl that back toe, step it up. Take a big inhale, lift. Hands to the right, lengthen. Exhale, over. Inhale, lift. Reach and lengthen. Exhale, over. Inhale, lift. Again, bend in those knees, shoulder blades down and back. We'll just turn side to side just to give you a different view. And then round it, gaze up, drop the shoulders down. And then lift up. Just move side to side, bring your hands center, hands to heart center, take a big inhale. Exhale, fold, squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward, facing dog. This is our first round dog, so pedal your heels. Move your hips. Try to lengthen your spine. So your fingers are starburst wide for a firm foundation. Small arms, tailbones up, 
heels up, and if you can part those heels down, do your personal back. So you grip with those fingers, and nice foundation set as you elongate that spine through your legs, through your arms. Then roll it up, plank pose. And as you're in plank pose, make sure your shoulders and wrists line up. Grip with those fingers, suction cup those hands to the floor. Make sure your booty's not up in the air, and make sure you're not swaying into your back. So you want to have a long spine. So when you're here, as you press in, shoulders and wrists line up, tuck the pelvis under, squeeze between the thighs, draw the navel in. I know a lot goes on as you hold in your pose. Just activate the body, tuck those elbows in, draw your chin forward, shift your weight forward, slowly come all the way down and lay onto your abdominals. Shoulder blades down and back, hug your hands, hands at your chest line, and just lift. Feet are glued to your mat, even that baby toe, as you zip through those thighs, and just little lifts. Working on engaging the back. We did several cat and cows, so it's pretty warmed up. So on your next one, you're just going to press in and all the way upward facing dog. Round into your back, press into the earth, shoulder blades down and back. Shoulders and wrists are in alignment. Remember when you're here, feet are flat. So you can adapt if you need to be on your knees for modification. You can, otherwise press up. Engaging, lifting, squeezing, holding and breathing. Feeling that back bend, the arm strengthening, chest opening. And then flip your toes, lift your tailbone, down and the dog. Take a breath. Lift your heels, flat to your thighs, gaze between your hands, take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Lift, find your floor. Squat deep, gaze forward, step back, downward, facing dog. Bring it out to plank. Elbows tuck in, you're gonna chatter on it and down some the upward facing dog. Push up. Downward facing dog. That push up is just an option, uh, option to give you a little extra hump. And then you can lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat deep, step or hop to the top. Lift tall, find your chair. Lift tall, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step back. Downward facing dog. Bring it out to plank. Drop to your knees if you need to modify. Elbows rotate in, chatter on the dindas, and the shoulder blades line up with your elbows. Flip upward, facing dog. Push up, fully extended or kneeling. Downward, facing dog. Lift the heels, squat into your thighs, gaze between your hands, take a big leap to the top, and lift off. Find your chair and hold in your chair. Now in your chair, you want a long spine. Really press your butt back, roll the pelvis under, make sure your knees are not over your toes. Hands can be a heart center or up overhead, extending with a long spine. Again, the feet are together, or pelvis under, shoulders down. Gaze forward, maybe close your eyes and just feel the sensation flowing through the body. As we connect the breath with the body, feeling the feels of what goes on as you just hold in this pose. So traditionally, yoga was found in a meditative stance, you would sit in this chair, whatever pose that was calling you to do in that moment. If it was a meditation and movement, so you would hold in the pose, you would transcend the physical into the spiritual. Just take this moment maybe to sink a little deeper, come to that edge, to breathe in and breathe out. Just letting go of the physical essence to unite in harmony with the spiritual essence, linking breath and body in harmony with the spirit. And then go ahead, bring hands heart center, take a big inhale, lift, lengthen, exhale, fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step back downward, facing dog. Bring it out the plank, chatter on the upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Get the right leg to go, and up back to hip. Just allow the hip to open, so I'm going to bend in that knee, let the foot to hang behind you, and bang there for just a minute. So let the hip to open, hold and breathe. And then slowly pull it through. Drop to your back knee, kickstand the leg, and open side gate. We'll reach the arms out. So it's right leg forward extended, left knee is down, arms are open. And then come kneeling, side plank, reach the arm up. 
Shoulders are stacked, knee and hip are stacked. Hold and breathe. And then take that arm, reach over, has to find a long line from your fingertips to your toes. You point the toes, lift up, gaze to that armpit, hold and breathe. If you want to increase the challenge, you can go ahead and kickstand that bottom leg out and hold, fully extended in side plank. And then wherever you are, pivot yourself around the back into plank pose. Facing opposite direction with the top of your mat or at the back. Go ahead and try to hold an upward facing dog. Push up, downward facing dog. Take that right leg, kick it up, stack that hip again. Breathe in, breathe out. And then bring it through warrior one. Back heel down and lift it up. Right foot nice and deep. The right leg forward, big toes are at 12 o'clock, you have a clock around you, front knee ankle line up, back heel, you want that foot to kiss the floor, press and elongate the back leg, strengthen the front leg, shoulders down, or chin in, engaging the bottom of this, with that pelvic floor, at the navel, and at your chin. Energetic blocks as you breathe, remember energy move and flow, deep and down. Good open center, warrior two. Extend your hips, that back foot just turns parallel to the edge of your mat. You can open up to the heart center. Then bring your hands, goddess, to the center. Hands at heart center, prayer. Toes turn out, sit deep and hold. Bring this arm to the prayer overhead. Shoulder blades down, lift the heel. Balance and breathe. Then pivot around, crescent lunge to the front. Eagle arms, just a left leg forward, left arm underneath. Eagle, those arms wrap up, we'll lift them up. Deep them down. If you need to modify and find a back knee for support, you can. Always come kneeling. This is your practice. I'm just here to facilitate, giving you guidance on your mat. So you can take the energy and move it through your day. Extend to reach those arms, lift it up tall. Hands come down. Deep in that left, take that left leg, kick it up. And then pull it in heart center. And kick it up. Two more. Pull it in. Kick it up. Last one. Pull it in. Kick it up. And then chaturanga. Upward facing dog. If you need to modify at any point, you can always come to your knees. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Take a moment. Lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat deep, take a big step or hop to the top. Lift toss, find your chair. Lift your heels, whoop, hands, prayer. Ooh, it's a little topsy-turvy for me there. Heels lifted, navel in, extend those arms, sit a little deeper. Breathe, shoulders down. So sit as deep as you can without sitting on your calves or hovering right above them. Pull the thighs in, this long spine. Shoulders down, hands prayer. Take a big inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step back down, left facing dog. Bring it out the plank and chaturanga upward, facing dog. Push up, downward dog. Left leg, kick, stack your hip. Bend in the knee, let your foot dangle. Lift that knee a little higher and breathe. Then pull that leg through, drop to your back. Right knee, extend that left leg. Kneeling, side gate. So if that foot comes parallel, extend the arms. So you're kneeling, knee and hip line up. Open up, expand through the heart center. Engaging those arms. And then kneeling, side plank. Shoulders stack, hips stack. Find that long line. And if you want to take that arm over your body, point that toe. From your fingertips to your toes, just feel the elongation through the body. And then if you want to increase the intensity, you can always kick stand that bottom leg out. Hold and side plank. Lift the top leg if you choose. Find that level that challenges you. And then wherever you are, bring it center to back your mat. A little chaturanga and down to the upward facing dog. Push up, downward dog. 
Take that left leg, kick it up, stack your hip, open it up, then pull it through for warrior one. Back to down, let the torso deepen into your lunge as you reach New York high. Take a breath, take a moment. Find where you are. A little panic for where you're at today. And then open up warrior two. Center your hips. Sink a little deeper. Come to the edge. A place where you're like, I think I know it, but not sure how long. I'm going to breathe through it. We're going to overcome it. And let's turn both toes down. Find our goddess pose. Sit deep, maybe rock a little bit. You center yourself down to that goddess. Take a breath. Still a little deeper. Then let the heels reach the arms prayer overhead. Balance. And then release it through the round crescent lunge. So it's right leg forward, right arms underneath, eagle arms. Lift it up, gaze up, round the back. Hold if you need to modify, find that back knee for support. Anytime you can always come kneeling. Your practice can also be held in child's pose. You can sit in lotus and watch. And just feel the practice. And unravel the arms. Lift up nice and tall, then hands come down. Take that right leg, kick it high. Then bring it out, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Push up, down dog. Hold and breathe. Hold it, take the leg, right leg, kick it right back up, and hold it into your heart center three times. Pull it in. And one more. Whatever. Kick it up and down dog. Slide deep into your thighs, gaze between your hands, take a big step rock to the top. Lift up tall. Find your chair, hands to prayer. Lift the heels. We're working on balancing. That balancing chair, so reach it up. Sit deep without sitting on your calves. You're hovering right above as you lift those heels tall. Shoulders are down, navel is gauged to the spine. No lack goes on. Pull those knees in, don't let them fall out to the side. Breathe in, breathe out. Hands to heart center, heels come down. Lift up tall, exhale, fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step back. Downward facing dog. Bringing out the plank, chaturanga, upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Take the right leg, kick it up. Stack your hips. Pull it through, warrior one, back heel down. Press in, deepen down, reach it up. Breathe. Then find airplane, straighten both legs, take a little step in. With that back foot, ankles are in alignment, front toes 12 o'clock, back toes turned out slightly, maybe it's about 11.30, if you have a clock around you, it's an imaginary one to give you proper alignment. So press your tailbone back, crown forward, arms press back, fingertips reach, and then place those fingers down in front of you, take that back leg, kick it up, forehead towards your knee, standing split. If you want to work on balancing, then place right hand around right ankle. You should keep that forehead towards your knee, kicking the leg a little higher. And if you want to try, you can take the other hand to your ankle, just an option. Maybe come a little topsy turvy, it's okay. Just try your personal best. Some days I got it, some days I don't. And then release it, lift up in that chest. Then pull that knee in, squat it deep, and kick it back. Pull it in and kick it back. Pull it in and kick it back. About four more. Three more. Two more. And your last one, kick it. Lunge it nice and deep. And then walk it to a center straddle and move side to side. Just lunging side to side, moving in that space. And then you're going to lunge nice and deep on the left back leg. Lift the torso, find your archer. 
so that your front toes are going to lift. Lunging is this back knee, knee and ankle line up, lift up. Place your thumbs on the inside of your palms so you're whole and complete in our authenticity just the way we are. Perfect being perfect. Maybe a bit of a hot mess, but it's okay. It's who we are. Own it. Embrace it. Self-love, self-care as we heal from the inside out. Being empowered, staying the truth. Get a little deeper. And then pivot right back. Warrior one. Meet down. Take that leg. Keep it high. Pull it out wide to your elbow. Kick it up. Pull it out wide to your elbow. Kick it up. Pull it out wide. Kick it up. Legs in. Bring it out. Chaturanga. Upward. Facing dog. Push up. Downward. Facing dog. Take the left leg. Kick it up. Hold it. Breathe through it. Bring it through. Drop that heel down. Lift up. Reach in. Press it nice and deep. Oh, someone came to the door to offer a package. <laughs> that happens. This is life and this is a home. So I'm grateful to be able to use this space. Lens in a little deeper. Hold in and breathe. Take a breath. Then straighten that leg. Find airplane. Press the tailbone back. Crown reaches forward. Reach in, lengthen, and deepen to the best of your abilities. Both legs are straight as possible. Maybe shorten your stance a little more if you need to. Press in. And then on your next breath, as you really press into that front leg, about three fingers down, you're going to jet it up. Kick that back leg up, forehead towards your knee, standing split. So left hand, left ankle. Again, this is your personal journey to balancing upside down, heads upside down, feel that blood flowing. If you're here and this is all you got, stay right there. If you need both hands to your mat, stay there. If you have your right hand or left hand to your left ankle, maybe try your right hand too. You may find you have more flexibility than one side, as well as balance. I definitely do. <laughs> and bring both hands out. Lift up the chest. Squat deep into that thigh and kick it up. Squat deep, kick it up. Squat deep, kick it up. Squat deep, kick it up. And squat, then kick, squat, kick, squat, kick, squat. Four more, three more, two more. The last one, kick it out behind you. Drop it down, walk to a center straddle. Hold in your straddle, lift in your tailbone, and then move side to side. And next time, hold onto that right leg, lift the left toes, lift your torso, lunging into this back leg, into archer, so toes slightly turn out, lunging into that leg, lifting these toes, lengthening the right, the left leg. Open up through the heart center, back elbows bent, thumbs on the inside, pull it back. So if you got a bow and arrow, oh, and your badassery self, and your authenticity, and your genuinality, with the pain, with the shame, with the guilt, and transmute it all, relinquishing it into the light of love and peace and joy. Feel the enlightenment in to blissfulness. It comes with humility, with responsibility, with impeccability to be accountable to ourselves, finding grace and gratitude, seeing the silver lining as we walk in our darkness, seeing the light that shines out. Pivot right back to the front, get nice and deep. Take a breath, hands come down. Take that leg, kick it up. Out wide to the elbow, kick it up. Out wide to the elbow, kick it up. Out wide to the elbow, kick it up. And then chaturanga, upward facing dog. Push up, downward facing dog. Lift the heels, gaze between your hands, take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift. Find your chair, lift it up. 
Enhanced prayer. So working this, balancing poses a little more after our standing splits. Take the right leg, lift it up, open up, find your tree. Do not place any pressure on your knee. And if you can, try to allow your leg to do the work without going, oh here, let me jerk this up here and hang out right there. Of course you can get deeper in it. But how about we try to use the muscles in our leg? So if you have to, you can be down here. You can also have a toe at your heel and just work on balancing. Or as you pull it up, like today, I'm just right above my knee. And that's okay. Then find these branches. Lengthen, open up, expand. Breathe. Feeling grounded. Feeling tall, feeling rooted. Then bring those hands prayer overhead. Pull that knee in, lift it up higher, then kick, sand it out behind you to hinge over into warrior three. Make a long line with your body, making the letter T with your body. That standing leg is a slight bend in your knee. If you need to, you can always elongate, keeping back toe on the mat. There's always a place for everyone. And then slowly release it, pull that knee right back up, and then place that foot down, and then shake it out. Shake it, shake it. And let's work on the other side. So let's pull the left knee up, open that hip, find that placing. And again, without putting pressure on your knee, find that place that works for you as you open up that space, press in, feeling tall, feeling grounded and rooted, and then expanding, finding that focal point to help you balance, keeping the bond as active through the pelvic floor, the navel, and the chin, feeling the energy moving in and out as we breathe in and out. Staying united through our practice in that EYG breathing. Feeling the audible toning, feeling the parasympathetic nervous system being repaired and restored through our practice. So our mind is cleared, our heart is healing, our energy in the body is elevating to a higher frequency of love, joy, and peace. Let's go ahead and bring those hands overhead. Extend that leg behind you. Find warrior three. A slight bend in that standing leg. Lengthen the body. Do your personal best. Keep those standing toes forward. Your feet will easily try to turn side to side to compensate for balance. Keep those toes forward. Elongate ears and elbows side by side. Make the letter T activate the body. Breathe. And then slowly pull that knee up. Then release it down and shake it out. All right, a little shakes feel good. You can do a little dancing. Whoop, whoop. All right, music in the heart, right? All right, always got to find the joy, the reason to move and dance and sing that song that vibrates within you as your happy tune. All right, so let's bring your hands to heart center. So you can big inhale less. I know I'm silly, but you know, that's just the way it goes. Lift up halfway, lengthen, exhale, fold, and drop to your bottom hand. See? And lengthen those legs and sit tall. Reach tall, flex in those heels, exhale, fold. Take a big inhale and deepen down. And then widen your legs as you sit nice and tall. Take your right hand to right ankle, take your left arm, reach up and over. And then release the other side. Reach up, lengthen over. Reach up again, other side, lengthen over. And then reach up and lengthen over. And then lift up and then reach to the center and exhale forward. Reach the chest forward, chin forward, and then bring it down. Take a big inhale, lift, exhale, deepen. Then walk your hands back. Keep those feet wide. Take your right leg, right knee, lift up. Take your left foot, you're gonna bend it, and you're gonna lift it up, rounding, lifting, engaging, and squeezing. And then release it, lengthen. Right foot pulls in, flatten that foot. Left leg, left arm, lift, point that toe. Lift, engage, gaze goes over that shoulder, over those fingertips, lifting your glutes. And then release it down, and then switch it again. Pull that leg in, hand comes behind you, reach that arm up. Begin to do your personal best. 
If you want to go with legs straight, you're going to straighten them both out. See if you can increase the intensity of your option. And then you have a seat. And then other side. Bend in that foot. And let the nose head reach up, reach over. If you can, if you want to keep both legs straight, you can. And let's and breathe. And then have a seat. Walk your hands forward and deepen down. Bring those legs forward. Take this right leg, pull it in, hug it, rotate around, gaze behind you. Take opposite knee, that elbow, out on that knee. You rotate. And then release it, other side. Pull it in, hug it, rotate it. Again, you can take that right knee, elbow on the outside of that left knee, get a little deeper. And then release it and come seated nice and tall into your lotus. And what a beautiful practice, what a beautiful journey. And I thank you for coming because I could not do me without you. And not just here in the video, but in life. We need one another. So I'm grateful to have those that I can count on, I can call on, and that know they can call on me because together we rise up. And I am always here if you need anything, so please feel free to reach out. It's truly my passionate purpose to inspire you to let go of your BS to find your blissfully soulful way of living. Your best life to the fullest as we manifest together heaven on earth. And as we bring our hands to our center, allow the breath to slow in now. Breathe. Feel the breath, feel the body. Notice how you feel different from the beginning of your practice to now and honor what it is that you're feeling. We're gonna take three big inhales to kick ourselves and go. One for the mind, exhale. One for the body, exhale. And one more for the spirit. Exhale. You go out and have a magnificent day. Namaste. Peace out.